Sure, I, I mean, I think that for me, this whole season is about the culture of the team and the expectations around how we treat each other and how we support each other. And I think that that kind of lays the foundation for what uh, a good team can be and, and, and they can kind of, we can grow from this foundation. So uh, during our first meeting, I kind of laid out our, our uh, kind of top three priorities or our top three values, and that was you know, honesty, respect, and integrity. And you know, I want these athletes to be really great people, and I know that if they are great people, they'll be great performers too. I think the team's been really responsive. You know, change is always hard whenever you got somebody else and a new staff coming in, and, and things are just different. The way we train is different. The way we talk about racing is different. Kind of the expectations. You know, I, I laid out a meet warm up for our team that everybody did for the first couple dual meets, so that was a little bit different. People were used to doing their own routines, so um, you know, kind of the way the season has progressed, and you know, we've changed a little bit of the way that we structure the groups, so that has been different. But I would say, on on a whole, the team has been great and really open. To to it. It's just kind of helping them get through those changes uh, that they, they're kind of used to. I think the biggest thing that you don't learn as an assistant coach is kind of how, uh, how many people or how many different areas that the head coaches kind of are involved in, uh, how closely they're tied to sport administrators, how closely they're tied to the compliance department, and then also kind of giving the, the, the direction to the coaching staff and then all the athletes are also looking to you. So the number of people that are kind of coming to you when as an assistant coach, you probably have your group that you're working with those people uh, and you're not dealing with all these other uh, kind of components that make a really successful program. So that has been certainly a learning curve for me. It's a really exciting time to be in the ACC, considering how good you know a lot of the teams are performing and how well they're recruiting. I certainly look at Virginia and NC State and Louisville. I mean, those teams are you know in the top ten in, the, in their respective both men and women uh, in all three of those programs. So, for me, it's great to be hunting after some of the best teams in the country. And I think that also we can talk to our recruits like, hey, you're coming into the best conference in the country right now, and we're certainly competitive, and, and we're going to push you, and that's going to help you grow as an athlete and achieve your goals uh, down the line, maybe in the Olympics. Individually, I'm looking for improvement. I want everybody to be doing best times, and that's a priority for me. Is it, because if people start dropping from their previous best, I know that we're on the right trajectory and they're growing as people. Um, so that is my first priority, is to individually have them each, each growing and improving. Uh, as a team, I want to move up in the conference championships and certainly at the NCAA championships have more people swimming and competing there and scoring points there. So um, I don't have a hard number or a place in mind for the program, but I certainly want to see progress on individual and team performance. Hey, do you love swim swim as much as I do? Do you want hours of endless practice footage, race video, and a guide to the best pancakeries in the country? Then subscribe to our YouTube channel below. And follow us on social media at Swim Swam News on Twitter and Instagram. If we get a million followers, I might just eat a million pancakes. Only one way to find out.